What's going on guys, it is Brad or Demon Asylum here. I'm bringing you all a new Fallout 4 video. Gonna be showing you all how to do the crafting items without resources glitch after patch 1.4. Now currently you guys can see I am on patch 1.3 down in the bottom right hand corner of the settings menu box there. However, patch 1.4 is not out for Xbox One or PS4 yet. It's also not fully out on PC. There is however a beta version of patch 1.4 on PC and I have people on that who have given me proof that this glitch is a work so when the full version of patch 1.4 releases for PC as well as both consoles, it should still be working. Now this glitch will work with armor mods, power armor mods, weapon mods, as well as of course the chemistry and cooking station. We're going to go ahead and uh, hop into the chem station here as an example. You're going to want to first go to the item that you want to do the glitch with. You're going to be able to create infinite amounts of this item without using any of the resources required to make it. Now to ensure that none of your resources are used when doing this glitch, you want to make sure that the item you are doing the glitch with, in this case it's going to be Psycho, you want to make sure you don't have any of the items required to make it in your inventory so for psycho you need acid circuitry hub flower and stim pack so in this case you want to make sure that none of those items are in your inventory if they are when you do this glitch you will end up using your resources uh, the other important thing here is that you need to have either the item listed above or below what you want to do the glitch with available to you to uh, create legitimately in order for you to do the glitch. So again, we're going to do the glitch with a psycho. Therefore, we need to either legitimately be able to make orange mentats and have the resources to do so or psycho jet. You guys can see here that I do in fact have the resources and skills required to make psycho jet. So that's what we're going to be doing it off of here. Now you guys are going to want to hover over the item that you can actually do the glitch from. And if you're on PlayStation, you're going to want to hit X. If you're on uh, Xbox, you're going to want to hit A. And then right after that, if you're below the item you want to do the glitch with again, which is Psycho, you're going to want to hit the button and then hit the left analog stick up. If you are above the item you're doing the glitch with, you're going to want to hit the button again, A on Xbox and X on PlayStation, and then hit the left analog stick down. And you want to make sure you do it quick enough. You do need to have it in pretty quick succession here. So let me go ahead and give you guys an example. As you can see here, the way that we know it did work right here is because the little green box is hovered over Psycho. Now, it may say on the screen a confirmation box for making Psycho Jet, but again, if the green box, as you guys can see below that, is hovering over Psycho, the item that you actually want to do the glitch with and the item that you actually want to create, that means that you did in fact do it quick enough and that when you confirm to create the item, like I'm going to do right here, it will make the psycho. You can see in the top left hand corner, it said that it made a psycho and it did not show that any resources were used. Again, we can use another example here. We have jet 286 psycho 82. So let's go ahead and do this one more time. I missed the timing on it. There we go. Got it the second time here. Again, it says make psycho jet. However, it has the green box below that highlighting psycho, the item we actually want to do it with. We'll go ahead and confirm. Left hand corner, it says a psycho was added. No resources were used. Hover over psycho jet again, and we can see that we have the same amount as we did before. We have 286 jets still, and we have one more psycho than we did, of course, because that is what we're doing the glitch with. Uh, but yeah, guys, that is basically the gist of it. Again, you can do this with any item here. Uh, you can do it with things that you don't have the perks uh, or perk rank required for. You can do it on the chem station, cooking station, armor workbench, power armor workbench here, or station, rather, the weapon workbench, all of that stuff. Uh, if you guys have any questions about this glitch though or if you're confused which some of you may be as this is a bit more confusing than the way the original crafting items without resources glitch was just go ahead and post in the comment section i'll do my best to get back to you guys as soon as i can and help in any way that i can that's about it for the video though uh, if you guys have enjoyed or found this helpful feel free to drop a like on it down below and subscribe for many more fallout 4 videos to come thanks for watching everyone and peace out